Hello, in this presentation, I want to show you how to reuse a pattern for assembling previously created parts. I will add all the parts and constrain them together. I start with the first plate and I fix it as shown. Next, I will insert and constrain the second part. The constraints were created and there is no degree of freedom left. Finally I insert the rivet. The rivet was brought with the last representation active in part. I will copy the parameter called rivet representation from part to product. Next, I change the parameter representation in product to normal. I connect through a formula the two parameters, as shown. Attention, to do this, the product must be active, not the part, in this case the rivet. Otherwise the connection is not possible. After the update, the rivet representation changes to normal. Next, I will constrain the rivet in the original hole of the plate, not to other hole from pattern. After update, the rivet is in the right position. Checking the degrees of freedom, we'll see that the rivet has only one left around its axis. I will add a formula to the first constraint to bound it to rivet representation. Next, select the Activity parameter and push Add Formula button. In this window, select from tree the Rivet Representation parameter and add the formula as shown.
I will proceed in the same way with the second constraint. At changing of the rivet representation, these two constraints are deactivated and the rivet is not constrained. Next, I will constrain again the new rivet representation and add similar formulas to the constraints. So now, the rivet has two deactivated constraints and only one degree of freedom around its axis. I will proceed in the same way as before and add formulas to the constraints bounded to rivet representation stage. At changing the rivet representation, two constraints will be active and the other ones deactivated. Next, from the first plate, by expanding the tree, I select the pattern type parameter, right-click copy, and paste it in the current TASI. After this, I connect it with the same parameter in each plate. So, I will control the both patterns from the two plates from the active product. The corresponding formulas are added to the tree, as you can see. Next, I will reuse the two patterns created in the first plate. I will select the rivet as component to instantiate. Expanding the assembly features will reveal the reuse pattern 1.
in the same way with the pattern too. We can observe that only the original instance has one degree. The other instances appears with six ones, like totally unconstrained. By dragging one instance outside of the pattern, at the update, it comes back in the same position, even though the shown degrees of free to Mars 6. At changing the pattern type, instances of the rivet are added or removed, as you can see. If I switch to the drawing file, you can see in the section view, all the parts assembled. After changing the pattern type and assembly, in the drawing, the section view is updated corresponding. I hope you will find this presentation useful. Goodbye till the next one.